This week, we're tackling the rebuild of our companionway stairs and our salvage sailboat. And what might seem like an easy project gets pretty complex fast, but the results are totally worth it. This is Luke, and I'm Lori. And if you've been following us, you know that we've had some crazy ups and downs in this boat restoration project, but our dream is finally coming to life thanks to our Patreons and viewers like you. Your support allows us to keep making these videos to share with you and take you on the adventure of a lifetime. And if you want to see what our boat is going to look like in the end, subscribe to our channel, like this video and ring that bell. It's a totally free way to keep the journey alive. Do you remember how it all started? It's our boat and here's our tall man who doesn't fit in the tall boat. <laughs> I fit here. We sat down to design our perfect companion waist areas using the inspiration from some of our favorite designs online and deconstructing them to work in our boat. And if you know anything about us by now, you know that we love a good design challenge. There are a few things that we wanted out of the staircase that were important to us and we wanted to see if Fernando could make those happen. The first and most obvious necessity was making the angle just right so that Luke could easily enter the boat without so much ducking down since he is a really tall guy. The second requirement is that the staircase must also be a door since it is how we access our machine room. Third, we don't want to leave any space unused. So we had this idea of utilizing this area under the staircase for things we use regularly when leaving the boat, like our most used shoes and some of our frequently used items like a dog leash or sunglasses. Lastly, we wanted to be attractive, of course. So you remember those designs? We wanted to see if Fernando could really imitate them and create those nice curved floating steps. We really hope it's not too tall of an order. right now and we are going to test out what is the actual measurements that we want this ladder to be because we don't know at this point in time what is going to be good enough that you can clear the door without hitting it so we made these steps right here or he made these steps right here and we're going to just attach them to the bulkheads on the sides and see what measurements are work and then we're going to build the ladder after that All right, now that we have our north, it's time to figure out how to create the real thing. So Fernando 
entered his carpenter meditation mode, where he tried to envision the staircase in its complete state, with all the things that we wanted working flawlessly in the space that we had. He then deconstructed it in his mind in order to determine what was the perfect starting point. So now Fernando has created the back part of the staircase. So this is the sides, the lateral parts that will support the staircase when it's down. It has like these kind of side supports here. And this is where the actual steps are going to be placed. And this is the part that's going to move. So that's the test is to see it, he's going to reinforce it using the step to support this jointed area right here. And here he made it curve down so that um, when you're walking, you won't stub your toe when you're actually going up the stairs if you come too close. So this was a nice choice to make this angle go down. And he's going to put that step here in order to be able to reinforce this angle. And then behind this flat part here, that's where our little tiny place that we're going to store things are is going to be located. So. Let's see how that turns out. It's not going to be super big, but I think it's going to be good enough just to care, just to hold the things that we use on a regular basis.
the steps themselves, Fernando chose to use a robust plank of hardwood that they had in the factory. We will be putting a protective surface on the top of the steps since it's going to be a high traffic area, so the coloring doesn't matter so much, only the structural properties. We put in temporary hinges to test the functionality and to determine the end weight of our hatch and door. Based on this, we can purchase the correct weighted hinges and also pistons required. also need a sturdy lock to secure that middle step. Because of the restricted opening, the door opening down in the storage area is more comfortable despite creating a bit of a design flaw with the step. So we hope to find a really good solution for that.
this staircase is probably our favorite result in the boat so far, though it's really hard to choose from so many fun projects. Fernando just hit it out of the park with this build, and we cannot wait to see it completely finished. Let us know what you think of his work in the comments below, and would you have done anything differently? Do you think there's anything that we could have changed? And tune in next week as we continue our journey into the water and around the world.